Because he's not on, re on media controlled by the government. But, but the difference is I'm on over 160, but we've been more successful in the free market Internet. The point is, is that they lie incessantly. Yeah. They lie incessantly. And you're right. They operate like they think they're in a vacuum. But you can lie if nobody can cross check you. Right, but but people don't know, like I my website got banned in the armed services too, and the number of military listeners to my show went through the roof. Oh, that's what I'm telling you. I Didn't they know advertising. when they ordered the Pentagon in like '99, 2008? I mean, suddenly I had this giant audience, and suddenly I was being given all this info that turned out to be accurate. People leaking, you know, just basic stuff, not like secrets, but what was going on. Because the, no, they didn't like the training they were being given to take on Americans. Sure. They heard a guy saying it was bad. They knew I was telling the truth. Then they're told, don't listen to this guy. Then they come in and say, you're going to get run or get PT duty if we find any more of these films here. Suddenly, everyone was watching them. Yep. I, yep. I mean, I mean, what was the system thinking? It's the delusion of control. The, the technology has bypassed. It's the Streisand effect. I'm sorry, what now? You know the, the, the Streisand effect where she kept threatening to sue bloggers, don't say where I live, don't talk about me. So it brought all this attention to it, made it a thousand times bigger. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. But I'm saying yeah, yeah. literally that shows how screwed up these people are. I mean, I don't mean to keep marveling about it. It's just that it, it's, it, it, what you're saying is true. Well, they inhabit the state, uh, which is an institution that is so ancient it's ridiculous. It's just an outgrowth of warlords and, and witch doctors from the Stone Age. They inhabit the state, which is retro, and they have had so much monopoly control over the media uh, that I think that they still don't quite grasp just how porous information has become now. Sure. And how, I mean, you know, it's like you, you put a tiny pebble in a stream and you think you're damming the whole stream. No, everything just goes around it. I mean, they, they, there's no rock big enough to dam the flow. Well, I mean, here's an example. I learned early on with stalkers or people in the media that make stuff up who wanted attention, smaller people than me making stuff up, don't respond, they go away. You give them attention, it gives them attention, they do it more. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, that's 101. I'm not that smart, I know that. How can the system not know that? Well, remember, they're also playing to an older audience. I think younger people are much more open to principled ideas of freedom than older people, to some degree, to some degree. And I think what they're doing is they're playing to an audience that themselves do not understand how widely porous the flow of information has become. So what they're saying, the people are saying, well, we don't want our kids seeing these, these Second Amendment things. It's like, well, we just, we talk to Facebook and it's taken care of. And people are like, hey, I'm over 50, that sounds plausible to me, because, you know, when they weren't allowed to show it on TV, they weren't allowed to show it on TV and nobody knew about it. Or when it wasn't allowed yeah, to Yeah, don't they it. get by by banning Super Bowl ads that are pro-gun, <laughs> by, by, by arresting kids that draw a picture of a gun at school, they only make it sexier? Because let me tell you, with the liberal trendies, the sexiest thing now is to go square dancing, two-stepping, buy <laughs> guns, become a hillbilly. I, I, we're actually winning with the young liberals. They're waking up and becoming libertarians. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen for the power structure because it's not going well. Well, the other thing, too, is that I think people, the, the government control of the schools have become so complete, so absolute. And this started in the 60s when you could no longer fire teachers and it just became so absolute. And I don't think people really remember or understand that when young people think of the state, they think of the school. And the, the experiences they have in the school are so uniformly negative these days. I mean, it was pretty bad when I was. That was kid. horrible when I was. In. Yeah, but it's become even worse now. Like, I mean, in the 30 years since I was in high school, I mean, it's become exponentially worse. And like now, as you know, they're, they're built by the same people who build prisons. They've it's a mind control tactics. facility. Yeah, it is. It is a prison. It is an actual prison that you're forced to go to. And so I think the government is used to this patriotic blah, blah, blah. But, but teenagers now understand that it's the government that runs their lives as teenagers. It's the government that makes them go to school. And they're rebelling against mommy and daddy now, but the state is their mommy and daddy. They're going to rebel against the state. Raised by the state. They've been put in state institutions from about the age of three or four onwards. And so when the state tells them stuff, all the rebellion that used to go to mom and dad in the 50s is now going to the state. What a beautiful situation to be in. What a great fomenting wonderful lava pool we've got to inject some reason and passion into and to wake people up because for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction yeah. hey imagine if if this imagine if high school went on forever well welcome to the modern government you know if boy if that doesn't make you know i have a recurring nightmare that i still have where i'm back in high school <laughs> i said do you still have that one where you didn't study for some test yeah 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 I still have those yeah. and, and like i'll be like the, the nightmare is i'm 30 as a senior. Oh, no. And I'm like, my God, I'm an idiot. I've got to get out of here. That's a great line. Do the rest of the hour with us. I'm gonna, you got yeah, some yeah, lunch yeah, coming yeah, for okay, you. We We're going to come back, I promise, and go to Fred and go to Dave. You've been drill troopers. And go to Todd, Robert. And, 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 and another, uh, Fred and Todd. And then we're going to get your review of House of Cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Stefan Molyneux is our guest. I'm Alex Jones. 
Freedom Domain Radio. We'll be right back. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. We are not here to scare you or fill your mind with images of terror. There's enough of that already. We are SurvivalBagsInc.com, a veteran-owned company. We specialize in survival supplies, bags, and packs. In most cases, our survival bags, loaded with emergency food, water, and supplies, ship out in 24 hours or less, and prices start as low as 60 bucks. Go to SurvivalBagsInc.com, and thank you for supporting a veteran-owned American business. SurvivalBagsInc.com. Our mission is to help you survive. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your doors are weak and your alarm system can't keep them out. That's the sound of the same door, now protected by the Door Sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with the Door Sentinel. Go to MySafeDoor.com. That's MySafeDoor.com and enter coupon code SAFE for 15% off of your order. The Door Sentinel, your home's first line of defense. Attention gun owners. It's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds. Is civilian legal in all 50 states? Is 100% made in the USA? Is veteran owned and ships next business day for free? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor. Just won't quit. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Let's go to your phone calls, then we're going to give you Stefan Molyneux's take on House of Cards that I have not yet watched, but everyone keeps telling me about. So most propaganda is in movies and TV, not in the news, and I'm kind of blind because I only focus on news. I should focus more on the propaganda in films, but that discussion coming up in the next segment after calls. Fred in Wisconsin, you're a trooper for holding. You're on the air worldwide. Go ahead. 
Hey, Alex. Um, wanted to ask you and your guest, uh, you have an uncanny ability to predict the future based on the events going on right now. And I see all these young young people, California, signing up for these medical marijuana cards. And I see it spreading across the United States. And I believe that if legalization happens, if it really does come across, that this is going to lead to gun confiscation later and that all these databases are being built because it's still against the federal law to have a gun and be under the influence of marijuana, regardless of what the states say. And I think it's going to be a big problem, and I didn't get my first gun until I was 25. So I think it's just going to lead to a future gun confiscation problem, especially if they lose all the money. Sure, sure. And, and I want to be clear about this whole gun issue. The guns are important, but the reason we obsess on it is when they come to try to take them, it's because they're going to take the First Amendment, the Fourth, the Tenth, everything else, which just symbolize rights that were already inalienable and already existed. And the point is, is that they go, oh, we're friends, just let us register them, and then they always confiscate them. And so, yes, undoubtedly the plan is to take our guns. But, but as Stefan said, so they have the monopoly. What's a bank robber do when he comes in? He says, hands up, and he takes the gun away from the security guard. Yep. I mean, that's what they're doing. They're securing what they've hijacked, what they've usurped. And I, at an instinctive level, do not want to be usurped. Stefan? You know that the system is about to crash when they try to grab the guns. That is always what happens. Uh, because when the system crashes, the dependent classes get kind of angry. Where's the welfare check? Where's the social security check? Where, where my money's being inflated right out of my bank account? I can't buy food. I mean, this is what happened in Ukraine. Ukraine, the average uh, GDP uh, per person uh, is like thirty-five or hundred or four thousand dollars compared to Poland, which is thirty or forty thousand because they got such a corrupt regime. The Arab Spring was because the price of wheat went up three times. They couldn't afford to eat. So when you've got a dependent class which has been fostered for the last thirty That's or right. years. When you're about to run out of money, you've got to grab those guns. Otherwise, yeah. you could be facing some significant... And I want to explain something. It is massive centralization that allows runs on banks, that allows starvation, that allows deflation, inflation. If you have a truly diverse, free, multi-crop economy, you have some problems, but you just get richer and richer. History shows. The problem is ever getting to that point where you get government and, and regulators out of your hair and, and have a virtuous society... Then it's like a perpetual motion machine. But again, then you become decadent. It's the same cycle. Anything else, caller? I would just keep my name off that list as long as possible to see what they actually do. But, well, yeah, uh, I mean, folks, you can fight. get guns anywhere in the U.S. without getting them through a registration system. In most areas, it's legal to buy from a private seller. Me, I'm so prominent anyways. I go buy guns in the background check. Why do I care? Uh, I don't think I even have hardly any guns that I bought from friends or family. Uh, and they can say anything's illegal, too, nitpicking it. You know, it, it, it's the cops show up and say, you know, you have a gun illegally. No, I don't. I don't have your, you know, your view that my gun's illegal because my grandpa gave it to me 30 years ago. You know, they can frame anything the way they want it to. Yeah, and I would uh, strongly suggest that uh, it's a great barometer of an economic catastrophe when the escalation uh, of gun grabbing uh, goes on. That's the time where you've got to start thinking about whatever savings you got, whatever finances you've got. That's right. They're going to take everything else when they go for the guns. Robert in Mass, you're on the air. It's the canary in the coal mine. Go ahead, Robert. How you doing, Alex? I'm good. Go ahead. <clears throat> uh, I just want to say you're doing a great job. You're a true American patriot and the spirit of 76 lives on. Thank you, brother. What's your question or comment? Well, my, my question is about the first, the IRS. It's not a question, it's just a point. I, I'm from Massachusetts, so we're under a form of Obamacare here already. And uh, just to back up what you stated, that they are going to go after your bank accounts, they are going to go after your tax returns, that's already happening here mm. um, in Massachusetts if you don't cover yourself for the year when you go to file your taxes, they take it out of your tax return. Um my other point is I'm a kind of hands-on guy. I like to get in people's faces. I call senators. I call congressmen on gun control. I call CNN. I call MSNBC just to let these people know that there are people out there who do care about the Constitution. And the well, there are a lot of people that care. But, you know, the bill, and now the IRS announced last week they're going to take the money out of your bank account. And, and, and they, they go, but Obama promised they wouldn't. Well, why do they have it in there to take $5,000 out then if they're not going to do it? But a politician promised is such a non-argument. I can't believe people... Caller, did you have anything else you wanted to add? I just wanted to say, what an excellent guest you have on. And uh, I'd like his take on what he thinks it's going to take for the American people to finally have enough. That's right. Will there be a big flashpoint or will it be gradual? We'll talk about that when we come back.
We're and on House the march. Of the Empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.